Ladies, I'm here at the table side. The top of the MGM Grand is the setting, and Lightning Luke Kint from California, USA, makes his debut in the Arm Wars Super Series. Six feet, 77 kilograms, a multiple US national champion, but he will need to be on the form of his life. We welcome a legend making his debut in the Arm Wars Super Series. Andrew Cobra Rhodes needs no introduction anywhere in the world of arm wrestling. From Fort Wayne, Indiana, USA, 81 kilograms, a legend in the sport. I'm Luke Kent. I'm from Petaluma, California, the birthplace of arm wrestling. Number one, come get up! Uh, I'm pulling a guy named Cobra. Uh, we pulled once before. He actually has a win on me. Um, I got some payback for him. I'm Cobra Rhodes. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm here to compete against uh, Luke Kent, kid from California. Technically, my uh, he's known for his top, his top roll. He has an extremely long hand, strong wrist, a lot of back pressure. But uh, unfortunately for him, my hand is stronger than his, more conditioned than his, and I'm more prepared for this event than he is. Uh, from a technical perspective, uh, I look forward to just uh, coming with my own technique, which is the Cobra, of course. Uh, coming out high and tight and hitting him hard. They don't call me Lightning Luke Kent for no reason. I'm just as fast as he is. As long as I get the ready go, my hand will, ha my hand will hang with anybody in the world. Here we go. A bit of rest there, please. As the sun beats down rest. at the That's top of the MGM ground. We are in the men's Don't middleweight division. Luke Kidd, go! Is the man in the black shirt. Enormous start from the man from California. All right, here we go. But hand control was sacrificed to Andrew Cobra Rhodes in the yellow shirt from Fort Wayne, Indiana, USA. A true legend of the sport of arm wrestling, Rhodes. This guy. Go. Absolutely phenomenal oh. arm wrestler. Hand control, his main weapon, but he sacrificed it early and Kit goes onto the running foul. So this is an interesting situation. I don't think the man from California has spotted that he's on the running foul. He looks in a great position, quite comfortable in the wrist and hand, but less so now as Rhodes starts to put the pedal down. And he drives for the pad. What a recovery from Andrew Cobra Rhodes. Enormous drive. And there's the win from Rhodes. Looks in some discomfort, and there is a story to tell there, but the story of this opening match is first blood. Andrew Cobra Rhodes. Luke Kent went from a relaxed position to a very, very nervous disposition as that man drove on him. Press on, it. Press on it. I did say there was a story there. Press yeah, on my rib. Says Andrew Rhodes. The reason for that is Cobra unbelievably broke his ribs two days before this event. In attendance at the World Amateur Championships, which is held in Mesquite, just outside of Las Vegas, suffered that injury and has come into the event with a big question mark over his fitness. He seems to have uh, shaken off most of the ill effects in that opening round. Rhodes in yellow leads by one pin. Luke Kent looking a little pensive. Better hit from the California, but he sacrifices hand control and an elbow foul. Keith round foul. What's going on? Rhodes questioning the running foul. Would have been, however, Luke Kent's elbow was clearly still off the pad, and Keith Taylor in the stripes making the correct call there. Big drive from Rhodes. Hits that top roll, but look at the hand control, secured by the master arm wrestler from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Controls the hand, drives forward. Come on, he pushed me off the back. It's the second elbow foul for Kent. That will be a red. And while he remonstrates with the referee, we have chance to catch the action. Big drive from Rhodes there. Watch for the second squeeze and bump. Floating dangerously close to the front of the pad himself, but he arches his body into that press 
and nothing illegal there from Andrew Rhodes whatsoever. Wishful thinking, I think, from uh, the young man from California. That was as obvious as it gets, man. I think he disagrees with me and with he Keith Taylor. The back, let it, then you pull it, push him off. It doesn't matter. I don't need to rub down. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. A little lighter. A little lighter. Round three. Two pins to zero. Andrew Cobra Rhodes in a yellow shirt. Go! A man who has carved out his name in tablets of stone in the world arm wrestling. Looking to get some of the lactic acid out of that hand and wrist. A frustrated young man from California, Luke Kim in the black. He's got massive potential, massive speed. Such a charismatic young man. And he's got real power in that arm. He may look a slighter build, but believe me, he has got a hit, and there it is. Massive drive, lightning, Luke Kent with a win. Wow. Look at that on the replay. Huge drive, hammers into rolls, elbow shoots to the back of the pad, but no mistakes this time for the California kid. Lightning, Luke Kent hits the pad, and we are in an arm wrestling match, ladies and gentlemen. He already is. Your time. Your time. Reputations on the line in the Arm War Super Series. Underwood repeating. Come down a little bit for me. He already is world famous. It's your time. A little bit rest. Can Luke Kent deliver? Can he steal the thunder? The myth and legend surrounding this giant of world arm wrestling. Andrew Cobra rolls in the yellow shirt. He gains hand control. We slip, we'll go into the straps again. Okay. We are high above Las Vegas. MGM Grand. Overlooking the beautiful Las Vegas strip in Nevada, USA. Loading back the pressure evident on the face of Andrew Cobra Rhodes. Enormous hit, but he's lost his wrist and hand, and Luke Kent shakes his head. Thinks he's got the control and has. It's Lightning Luke Kent with the win. Luke Kent is back in this arm wrestling match. He signals the win to the crowd here at the top of the MGM. Gained hand control early. It was a massive, aggressive drive to the side from Andrew Cobra Rhodes. The encouragement being shouted throughout from Luke Kent's corner and Hollywood, Don Underwood. And Kent levels the score. Come on, baby. Tight, tight. <laughs> Heavily strapped. Get a hand a little bit even at that time. Hit him strong, hit him fast. Wrist. Got it. Gotta wonder whether that injury is plaguing him as we head into the latter rounds. We'll move there. Kin in black, rolls in yellow. Rolls we'll started so well. Go! Oh. Big hit! Luke Kent rolls has hand control. That was better from the man from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And he leaves his hand in there frustrated. You can feel him clawing the air there, trying to gain that hand control and retain it. But it's a better hit from Luke Kent. And again, the man from California has control. There's the win. Lightning Luke Kent. He looked in all kinds of trouble. On the first start, but not when the strap went on. Gained hand control early and secured advantage. Three pins to two. Look at the face on Andrew Rhodes. The pain etched all over it. Truly really iconic figure. He's running out. He's running out of juice. He's been out of juice. He's done. Listen, he's driving. Give him what he wants. I am giving him what he wants. We head into the final round. What a turnaround in fortunes for Lightning Luke Kent. Trailing by two pins at the start of this match. Come on, Cobra Rhodes finds something now. Go! Big hit, and he has hand control. Hold on. You're taking my hand. Can't stay there. 
Verbals exchanged between the two athletes at the table. And it's a new confident lightning Luke Kint. He feels he's got this one in the bag. Can he feel the power ebbing? Shoulders. Okay. Away from this legendary arm wrestler, rolls in yellow. Can he find something now at the death of this match to draw himself back into it? Started so brightly. Oh, Luke Kint edges down. Number one, can't get up. Anybody. It's Luke Kent's day in Las Vegas. Look at that on the replay. The power just seemed to be poured away from Andrew Cobra Rhodes. And almost before it had begun, Luke Kent was celebrating into the camera here at the top of the MGM. Woo! Hey, hey. Enjoyed that one. <laughs> Finally, there, to the just set home by his friends in the crowd. This is the greatest experience of my life. I've been waiting for a TV opportunity. This is what I train hard for. This is what I go to the gym for every day, and it's to put my heart and soul into this. It's a great opportunity. I can't wait for the world to find, finally find out who Luke Kent really is. <laughs> Well, Cobra's my idol growing up and training, and he's, he's my motivation. He's the reason why I train so hard, and, you know, he's had a real tough week at the World Championships, and he's pretty much, uh, he's, just, he's, a, he's not 100% today. He had a little rib injury or something, but that's really no excuse for arm wrestling. He's the one that, that said yes and took the challenge, and he obviously thought he had an advantage over me, which he did not. <laughs> For skinny kids everywhere, I'm, I should be your motivation to don't give up, train hard.